What's up, YouTube? This is Two Raw Four TV. All right, so let's talk about one of the games yesterday. A game which would determine who the first seeded Denver Nuggets would play in the first round. Would it be the upstart Oklahoma City Thunder, the kids from OKC? Or would it be Cat, Rudy, Anthony, Michael, and company from Minnesota? Well, ultimately, the Timberwolves proved to be too much, too potent, too strong, and too deep for the Oklahoma City Thunder as they won in a rout 120 to 95. And they will go on to play the Denver Nuggets in the first round. And shout out to everybody over there on the live stream I uh, just did with LB. Please subscribe to the sports and political channel of LB. Uh, that was a great, uh, a great live stream we just did talking about the first round series and giving our thoughts as to how each series would go. Um, but anyway, in this particular game, Paul Anthony Towns had a strong performance, 28 points, 11 rebounds, 3 assists, 11 to 16 shooting from the floor. Uh, Anthony Edwards, he had good numbers, 19 points, 10 rebounds, and 6 assists. Uh, but sometimes numbers don't belie everything. Uh, the Thunder did a good job of slowing him down. Uh, he was 8 of 19 from the floor. But uh, he did not have a typically his typically strong game. I mean, it was better than the shit ball performance that he had against the Lakers. But ultimately, uh, Edwards did not have a great game. Uh, Mike Conley, fourteen points, three rebounds, three assists, four of six shooting, two of four from three point range, and Rudy Gobert, of all people, Rudy Gobert. 21 points, 10 rebounds, 2 assists. He was 6 of 11 from the floor. And I believe he was a career high as far as attempts from the free throw line. 9 of 14 to go for his 21 points. Kyle Anderson, 11 points, 6 rebounds, 4 assists. 4 of 9 shooting, 2 of 3 from 3 point range. And uh, Torian Prince and I have a good game. Only 2 of 8, 6 points. For the Thunder, SGA, Sean, uh, Shea Gilgis, Alexander, um, <clears throat> he did not have a strong game. He did not have a, a good game at all. Only 5 of 19 from the floor. Only 5 of 19. I think he was something like 12 of 12 from the line, but only 5 of 19 from the floor. Uh, they were harassing him all night. Um on the, with the defense, with the zone, um, you know, he just did not, they, did, they, did, they didn't make it comfortable for him all night. And as a consequence, he had a very, very bad game when they didn't need him to, to have that type of game. And outside of him, uh, Jalen Williams, 17 points, 4 of 8 from 3-point range. Uh, Lou Dort, 17 points, 4 of 8 from 3-point range. Going with eight rebounds, but it wasn't enough consistent uh, scoring uh, elsewhere. And uh, like I said, the Timberwolves just had too much, too much firepower for them. And uh, I'm gonna tell you something. We were talking about this on the live stream. I really think that the Timberwolves, because I think if they played the Thunder, uh, Denver, they would have beaten them. Uh, Denver would have beaten the Thunder. But I think the Timberwolves have enough firepower and they have enough of matchup advantages that they could very well upset Denver. At first, I was thinking Denver in seven, but I think that Minnesota may be able to beat, and I think they're going to beat Denver in six. 
I think they're going to upset Denver. And after this, if this does occur, there's going to have to be legitimate criticism of Jokic. Now, if they go out there and somehow sweep the Timberwolves, I will recant. I will say, guess what, man? Jokic proved something to us, man. He is a legit MVP player, especially if, it, if it's a large part of it has to do with him. But I think um, in order for Denver to win this series, they're going to have to have strong performances, not just from Nikola Jokic, but from Jamal Murray, who even though I know he's never been an all-star, uh, at the end of the day, uh, he is an all-star level player. And not only that, uh, you know, they have other guys, Mike, uh, uh, Michael Porter Jr., uh, KCP is good. You know, they have uh, definitely some weapons. Uh, now they got um, Reggie Jackson. So they have guys that can step up and get you big buckets. But I just think Minnesota's too deep, man, and athletic too. And um, I think they're going to expose Jokic's uh, subpar interior defense, his slow-footedness. So that's another thing too. Um, and I forgot to mention this when we were doing the live stream. A lot of times teams have been able to take advantage of Rudy Gobert off the pick and roll, right? But the same problem exists for Jokic. The thing is, though, this is the key thing. If you get Rudy Gobert in trouble uh, foul-wise... Memphis, it will hurt Memphis, but Memphis could, could survive that. If you get Jokic in foul trouble, that's the death, the death toll for uh, Denver. So we'll have to look into that. But tell me what you guys think.